hello so in this video i'm going to show you how to solve the 49.38 ocr in any hp printer at all hp 750 hp enterprise series and any printer that will be needing a firmware update so to be able to do this i you're going to need a flash and then i will show you how to solve this problem so currently i'll be working on um hp m750 you know it has this error and this error has to do with the firmware so i, I will i'm going to update the firmware you can see on the screen 49 the 38.oc error this error has to do with firmware and the firmware is located on your hard drive so this particular printer has a hard drive on it and the hard drive is located on the on the logic board so to be able to get the logic board out on this particular series of printer the logic board is towards the left hand side so the first thing i'm going to do is to shut the printer down once you shut the printer down and you're sure that it's off then you go there you access the hard drive there are two things that could cause this issue number one is bad hard drive your hard drive has gone bad or the firmware has just gone corrupt so either of the two i'm going to show you how to troubleshoot to find out um, what the problem is and how to solve the problem so this is where the logic board is located i'm going to lose out this screw there's a screw there i'm going to lose out the screw there and i'll remove the logic board and i'll show you the hard drive So this is the logic board it is out and this is where the slots go into your peripherals and this is the hard drive I was talking about. Now this hard drive is it that it is bad or the firmware on it is corrupt. So the way to check this hard drive is I'm going to slave this hard drive to a computer and then check the health from a computer. So to be able to do that you can get a, an external hard drive case insert it there and check the hard drive health if it's still okay you go ahead you format it and you reload the fresh firmware on it but for this particular one the hard drive is bad i'm going to replace it with another hard drive so this is uh, uh the hard drive i'll be replacing it um, with You can see this is um, another hard drive. It has to be at the same rating as the last one, the same capacity or higher. You, you can't use anything lower than that. If you use anything lower than that, it won't take it. So it, look for what is the same capacity or higher. So this is the old one and this is the fresh one I'm going to be using for this. So I fixing my hard drive in the... I'm going to return it back to where it is um then i'll put it back in the computer and then i will load the firmware i'm going to show you how to load the firmware So I'm going to carefully place the logic board back inside the slot I took it out from. You have to be very careful when doing this so that you don't break anything on the on the logic board. You have to go through the, the there's a slot it came we have to go through the slot that it came out from.
Okay, the logic board is back. And the next thing I'm going to do after replacing the hard drive, it is to load the firmware. To be able to load the firmware, you're going to need a flash. And you're going to need a firmware. So you're going to go to a HP website and then you're going to need the firm, firmware. Now this is an 8 gig um, hard drive. You can use 8 gigabyte hard drive or more. You can use anything lesser because of the size of the firmware. So I, I'm going to get my hard drive. This hard drive already has a firmware on it. You can go to HP um, website and download the firmware on it and then go through, use the process I'm going to uh, use right now and then you be, should be able to reinstall the firmware or update it, whichever case it may be. So to be able to do that, my flash is inside. I booted up the, the printer. I'm going to first uh, format the hard drive so that any, uh, um, they can be formatted for uh, the printer to be able to use it. So on the screen right now, I'm going to select uh, uh, my USB thumb drive and then I am going to wipe the discs. I'll select the format discs and then I'm going to click on it. So it has been formatted. The next thing I'm going to do right now is to uh, go back and select the thumb drive again and then I'm going to download the firmware into, into the hard drive. Okay, so I have selected um, the firmware and it, you can see it is copying the files right now. Now, in case you tried it earlier and it didn't work, what you have to do is to, the firmware itself, it has to be on the root folder. Don't, make sure the firmware itself is not in any folder. Make sure it is on the root folder. It is stand, stands alone on its, um, by itself. It's not inside any folder at all. That is the only um, way you'll be able to see it through the printer to select it so that you can begin to install it. If it is inside the folder, you might not see it. So it is advisable to put it on the root folder. So uh, the printer has um, finished copying the files. So what I'm going to do right now that the setup is complete is to is to set up the printer as fresh. I'm going to set up the printer as, as fresh as if it's a new printer. And then that is all. I'm good to go. So in case you haven't done already, I would like you to like and subscribe to the channel. I have great videos on how to fix a whole lot of office equipment. So now I'm setting up the printer as, as new. Okay, so the setup is done and then the calibration is done also. So I'm going to wait for it to finish calibration. Then I'm going to do a test print. You can see it's calibrating right now. So I'll just hold on for it to finish calibrating and then I will do a test print so that you can see that this is a successful job.
Okay, so that is it, folks. Thanks, and I'll see you some more other time.